Welcome to this explainer video about the what to watch monster template. So what is this template for? Uh, it's a better way to keep on top of and track of your watch list, things like films and series. You'll end up saving time by avoiding excessive browsing on streaming services, and you can score your all time favorites and gauge them for rewatchability, especially over the winter. So this template, uh, here's how it looks when you get it. Uh, right off the top here, you'll see a how to drop down toggle quickly explain to you about how to do things within here. And I've got a quick blurb about the scoring system. I've based this off of the Barstool Sports Pizza Review, so there should be no 10 out of 10s, and I'm a pretty hard scorer, so uh, I recommend you use that scoring system, but I realize a lot of people will probably just give lots of 9s and 10s. So uh, this is the actual database right here. Uh, it starts off uh, with all these different views that you can have. So the default view will be your queue. That's the things you are going to be watching or upcoming watches. You can sort by your latest release date. You can sort by your all-time scores. You can sort by what date you completed your watch. You can sort by your series all-time or your films all-time. And there's an alphabetical list view. Uh, there is an aborted list view, so films that you don't want to put any more times into. I put Cats in here as a default. I haven't watched Cats, thankfully, but I know it's that bad. And you can even have a search by genre. So how does this one work? Uh, if you want to s search by whatever tag you have, um, it'll spit out the particular videos or uh, movies. So adventure, there you go. Action, there you go. Uh, because this is a template, I didn't include everything uh, in terms of specific movies that are tagged there. Uh, but as a default, I've put this tag for gang and narco. Um, but let's start off by looking at the view. How do you add uh, new watches to this? Uh, there's a new button here uh, and there's a drop down. I've got three different templates. Uh, I've got a film template, a series template, or a series template bracket real life. So the real life one is obviously based off of biopics or nonfiction or real life documentaries. Uh, and the difference there is if you want to have some research or historical knowledge, take some notes about what actually happened. Uh, it just gives a couple lines for that. Um, so let's use an example here of adding a new film. I'll click uh, film template and we'll use the example of the 2021 release Dune. So title goes there. You can add your own cover if you want. I quickly dragged a template video or a template image there. Um, and it does allow you to reposition it if you want. So if you want Josh Brolin in the shot here, or if you could save that. Uh, I usually start by going to IMDB and copy pasting in the IMDB link. That's at the very bottom here. Uh, the reason I go IMDB, because it'll show you some of the fields I have. So time, uh, Dune isn't out yet. I think they're still editing, so there's no time on that. Uh, status, so... This one is an upcoming release, but you also have in progress, on deck, completed, or aborted. So in progress are the ones you're currently watching. On deck means those are the ones you're going to get to next. Upcoming release, just so you can keep track of cool stuff down the pipeline. Once you've completed watch, you obviously put it to completed. Or if it was so horrible, like cats, you can abort it. This one's an upcoming release. Uh, I've got three levels of priority. Three bombs is the highest priority. Two flames is the second highest. And then one firecracker. This one looks like a wicked film, so I'm going to give it a three. Uh, my score uh, is one to ten with one decimal point. Obviously, we haven't watched it yet, so they'll leave that empty. You've got a spot for your plot. You can write your own little blurb or copy-paste whatever from IMDb if you want. Uh, so I will do that. Uh, the release date here, it says October 1st, 2021. So you can do the... You can type it out manually, so three letters for the month, OCT 1st, 2021. And then if you hit tab, it'll put it to that. Uh, or you can just use these search things here. It's faster to type, I find. Just remember, you got to use the first three letters. Uh, if it's similar to another movie in your database, you can use that here and search or uh, add with the plus icon there. Uh, and that'll connect the two. 
you'll like this if so that's a quick little blurb about what type of mood you want to be in so like if you're looking for wicked sci-fi action for instance i'm gonna leave that empty here uh once you complete it there's also a field here uh to put in your completed date we haven't watched that yet uh, here's your tags. You got a bunch of tags for the genres that actually matter. As you can see, uh, this one I'm going to put as a dystopian movie. Um, there's also a field for the movie poster. So I usually grab one from a Google search and you could click drag, and put it in there, upload, and there you go. It's put the movie poster file in there and then the IMDb link. Um, the other thing I usually do for upcoming releases is I grab the youtube url for the trailer and then i put a little part for embedding you click that embed and hit the embed button and it will embed the movie for you oops i don't know what that happened it'll embed the movie for you so if i want to see any trailers for upcoming movies i have it on hand i don't have to search youtube again uh this stuff is usually done while watching or once you complete it so hot take what you quick little blurb of what you thought about it, the good parts, the bad parts, any half-assed internet research you had, uh, companion content, uh, the best quotes, and then any memeable moments. Uh, so as you'll see here, now we have Dune in our queue. Uh, reposition that and hit save position. So uh, that's an upcoming release, but like say you're actually in the middle of watching something like using example for James Bond uh, in progress. So if I'm watching James Bond, as you'll see, that now moved to the front of the line here. So it's a good way to keep track of what you're currently watching. Put that back to release. Um, and let me show you quickly the difference between the series here. Um, so I'll use a test one here. I'm not gonna go through the same systems, but the difference here in this series is you've got this little section for the episodes. So I've got a checklist as I'm going through an season I can check off the ones I've watched as I go uh, and then I put two seasons worth of 10 episodes in each so if there's any shows that have more than two seasons you can simply hit the hamburger icon here and duplicate that I'll duplicate all those check boxes but you'll have to change obviously it to season three and then season three and then I've also got a little like second drop down thing for a scoring system I've put three stars so you can give each episode like a score of one to three stars uh and i usually give a quick blur about like this episode was about blank and put it in here um and if it was like a one star review i or one star episode i didn't really like it for instance i'll just do that um but in this one i'll leave empty and so how does that look in real life let's go to my real life uh what to watch monster good example here is band of brothers i just finished so if I open the full page here, uh, you'll see there's my checklist of the ones I've watched, 10 episodes. I put the titles for each in there. Uh, and then I've got a scoring system on each episode and quick little notes I thought about each episode as I went through. And then this is, uh, again, the one for the real life one. So here's the section, things I learned from this, um, obviously because this was based off of a real World War II group of soldiers. Um, so I took various notes about that too. So that is the template uh, because that one, oh, I didn't save that one so that didn't go in there. The other things you should be mindful of for this template is I've got a monster note section. So this is a web clipper uh, item. So if you're browsing something on Twitter and you come across this like cool new trailer or something you want to check out or an article saying like when something's happening, you can link your web clipper to here so that you get articles. Like for instance, this one I clipped off of Variety uh, about Wonder Woman's debut uh, going to HBO Max, for instance. Um, so that's a cool feature. Uh, you can keep track of what watches are coming down the pipeline and when they're delayed and things like that, or new cool actors getting in uh, roles. I've also got this other page for resources. So these are some of my favorite uh, media things to consume uh, to get ideas about what I'm going to watch in the future. Uh, podcasts, I've got the watch, rewatchables, and big picture. Those are links there. I've got some YouTube channels. I've got some media things and some miscellaneous fun. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions about this template, I've put my contact info on the bottom. Just send me a tweet or whatever. Uh, but I hope you enjoy uh, the what to watch monster template and uh, 
creating your own database and I'm curious to see your scores. So uh, if you like this or find it helpful, give it a thumbs up and uh, buy the template. I'll have a link in the description below. Have a good one.